hello John here and this is the sound I give all night to Britain bringing comply advantage Charlie Gilling Gilling Hole um, Gilling Pole um, CEO of comply advantage debt collectors or money launderer chiefs of fraud washed up Phoenix activity money launderers. They are bringing money launderers out into the open except this one that I've got of themselves, the Crown of Britain. That's what it's about. That's why they're not answering their phones to me. They're all gone bush. Like someone has told them, don't talk to John. One or okay, so there that is very, very sad to see that I've tried all night since midnight to ring them in office hours. That's to FinTech Times News and Gina Clark, the uh, editor of the Fintech Times News media for interviewing Charlie Dillingpole, CEO of Money Laundering Cabal. Now, they won't answer me because I've got the biggest fraud money laundering case in the world with Edie Mitchell from Hamilton, New Zealand and Australia that he has bought 17 trillion worth of real estate with the stolen money off me that put this land lease native title together in New Zealand for 50 years research. He's picked it up with a Freemason and a barrister and an army behind him and took off with the money. <coughs> so he's going to get caught soon. <coughs> <coughs> Sooner or later, the truth catches up to him and I'm just going to bleed him out to hell till I get there with what I'm doing in a Phoenix activity, theft of my company, or the people's company here in New Zealand, Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited, that belongs to that 17 trillion stolen money for the lease land title claim of New Zealand country to British Crown as the legal inheritance leasehold landlord owners of the native title to the British King George the Fourth. So I'm making a trust called the Moai Crown King George the Fourth Trust to liquidate all their trust businesses, including Edie Mitchell's trust. Can't hide away from this trust that owns the money that he's stolen. Okay? The Moai Crown, which is who Queen Victoria stole, the Dutch didn't touch the Moai statues when they found Easter Island or Rapa Nui and left the Moai statues standing because they knew they were spiritual law, God's law, and didn't steal them. But when Queen Victoria came along, she stole them and took it to England and New Zealand government stole it too and then the French stole it, and then everybody else stole it, Chile stole it, America, New York stole it, and there's a 
real Moai standing in New York. They stole it. For their authority to use Moai, God's law, or God is corporation speak, but Atua is our speak of our creator of heaven and earth, and they stole it and making money out of the memorial of Moai standing in London, Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London took them years to think that up. Now they face us, the people native to their native country, to boot them off the land, liquidate them and bankrupt all their trust businesses, like Edie Mitchell. Bankrupt them. Come on, New Zealand. Bankrupt them. Get him out of here. Okay? Get him off the land because he is piracy on the high seas of Admiralty. That's the pirates. And we've got a flag with a black line in it as Satan to keep our pirates. And what does the New Zealand government do? They go and create a new flag of New Zealand, the Cindy Kiro Japanese Maori flag with her crown on it, on the flag, and that's their crown, corporation, private business, nobody's business, but their own, that's joined the WEF German mafia and all that fraud stuff going on in the world to get a one world order by force. That's their law. It's not going to work for the people will rise up and bowl them out with these laws, the British laws that were meant to be for the people of the world to help them at with the British army and military. And they've gone and abandoned us in our contract with them. So they defaulted the contract between New Zealand and Britain and defaulted our Queen Victoria Trust, defaulted our King George the Fourth Trust, defaulted our King William the Fourth Trust, and defaulted our King William the Third Trust, and defaulted our partnership as a two way contract between Britain and New Zealand. And Maori does not feature anywhere in it. Okay, they were not part of the British Crown inheritance legacy. Okay, I'm here to speak for the natives of New Zealand at that time, whether it be Chinese, Portuguese, or or Spanish, or or anybody else that came here at that time. Uh, the sovereigns I'm talking about have kept their traditional history going and go right over the top and liquidate the contemporary historians and their professors' story that the crown in New Zealand, that's a little crown, has gone and accepted that crown, that professor's history and not our traditional history in their treaty claims. So it's all us about face in New Zealand with when it comes to who was here first. Okay, so they've got that twisted around and Maori are to blame because they went in with the Pākehās into Parliament. Those Maoris and those Pākehās in there against all the Maoris and the Pākehās outside of Parliament that have to fight like hell to get some justice. There's no justice in the system. That is why I put this all together for our Native Magistrate King's Bench Court and the four trusts that outgo any other trusts that are fraudulent and ambiguous. And that's the four trusts are the Maui Crown, King William the Third Trust, the Maui Crown, that's number one, the Maui Crown, King George the Fourth Trust, that's the second trust, 
and the third trust is Moai Crown King William the Fourth Trust, and the last trust is Moai Crown Queen Victoria Trust. Those four trusts versus the Mitchell Family Trust in New Zealand that's stolen 17 trillion from our company and that goes against international law, New Zealand law, British law and Singapore law and they're being covered up by the police in New Zealand and also covered up by the police in Singapore and covered up by the police in Australia and now covered up by the police and the British Crown law system with Islam running the British Magistrate Court. There, all that, that's why they shut their mouth and say nothing to what I'm saying until it gets out there. And all is on my website, all there, and disclose all of this for you to make your mind up. If you don't do anything with it, it just gets lost. And the frauds does get away with it. Okay, that's all I want to say in this little video. <coughs> <coughs> Time now is... Oops, what, what's the time? Hang on. The time now is 3 o'clock in the morning. So, that's it. I'm up at this time because I've been sleeping most of the day trying to get myself adjusted from back to normal from a six day fast. All I got out of that was three kgs lost and my health gone backwards. And now I'm going and eating again and getting back to normal. Okay, so we'll see you later. Bye for now. Today is Tuesday. The Tuesday, the 2nd of October, 2024.